Hello, and welcome to a Brawl modding tutorial. That's right, it's actually happening. We are going to be learning how to mod Smash Bros. Brawl in 2024. I know it's almost the end of the year, but hey, Christmas came early because I found a way to do this on your computer that is really fast to set up and you can get back into modding Smash really quick within minutes. We're going to do the whole thing together in this one video. I'm stoked. This is going to be awesome. I admit the method is probably not the best, but just how easy and fast it is, we are going to check this out and in the future we'll probably get into some more complex methods that will be better uh, for more complicated modding work. But I'm excited for this. I have a new profile on my computer, so everything is just brand new. So I'm showing so I'm showing you exactly how easy it is to set up. The first thing we need is the dolphin emulator. So I'll have a link to this in the description. But just type in dolphin we uh, into Google and it's gonna be this first one here. You're gonna grab this guy here. And alright, and then you're gonna get this one here, depending on what kind you need to get that. Uh, I've already got it, but just click on this guy and it will download. That's going to come through as a, uh, a zip file like this. So you need to extract it, and I've already extracted it into this folder. And you can see we have Dolphin in here. And if I click on this one, um, Uh, we have uh, it all ready to go, so we can minimize that for the time being. The next thing that we need is a Brawl Box, so type in Brawl Box Latest, uh, just like that, and it's going to be this one up here. Again, I'll have links in the description. Uh, I've been using this one, the 0.78 hotfix one and you just need to click on this uh, I know it says it's a dot exe but don't be worried that it's a, a virus or a program or something like that I'll show you what that is uh, in a second here once you have that downloaded it's gonna look like this and uh, that's that dot exe but if you double click on it uh, it's actually just a self-extracting archive, so you don't need to worry about that, like being a virus or something. I'm always paranoid about that. Um, put it wherever you need. And we have Brawl Box here. Are you ready? Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. It's been a long time, but we're back. We're back. Woo! I'm excited. Alright, minimize this. Uh, and believe it or not, that is all we need. So, uh, I guess, well, there's another thing that we need, but I'm not going to be helping anybody to get that. You will also need a copy, a digital copy, of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, of course. Um, You'll have to look at other channels to find how to rip that off of your disc if you still have that lying around, or getting it however you want. Um, that's not what this channel is about, we're just about uh, exploring how to mod and learning about that. So once you've acquired the game yourself, and you've got in Dolphin and Brawlbox like I've shown, then we are ready to uh, set this stuff up. Now uh, there was a, a post. Uh, by uh, Meowsils, and uh, I'll link that in the description as well. I didn't actually use uh, the tutorial or anything, but there was one part in it that uh, sh showed me some functionality in Dolphin that I wasn't aware of, so we are going to be taking advantage of that. Uh, you need to select wherever your game is, of course, and you'll have uh, Smash Bros. Brawl here. And now the thing I didn't know you could do, just right out of Dolphin, is if you right-click and go Properties, 
over here is file system and if you've seen my videos you know what we're looking at you know what we're looking at oh yeah and you know what you can right click and extract them so you don't need to find a place on the internet to download all this stuff anymore it's so easy just to get it that you can just get it right out of dolphin um, so I was originally planning on making like a download of necessary files but all you got to do is just get it straight from the game out of dolphin it's just that easy the method that we're going to be doing is if you right click on the disk and it has to be right up here we're going to extract the entire disk and we are going to extract this into a folder called whatever you want I'm going to call it smash brawl extracted and I'm going to select that folder this is going to extract everything into that folder now it's a bit wasteful because uh, if you remember we don't need to actually modify almost all of the files in the game it's mostly in certain specific folders so extracting the whole disk uh, has a lot of extra but as I'll show um, we're going to be able to put our mods in and then replay or repack it uh, and play it through Dolphin again. So just let this uh, cook here. And we can close this window here. Now I had put that onto this. And again, this stuff doesn't matter. All of these ones with P. You want to go to data. You want to go to files. And this is what we remember. Um, this is where all the stuff that we mod is and what all my old tutorials are based on. So if we go to Kirby, fidkirby.pack, 01.pcs, you know, that all that good stuff. So right from here, let's Let's test that it worked. We have Brawlbox. Let's make sure that uh, these files are actually working. So we're going to go File, Open. And go back to wherever you put that in the data, Files, uh, Fighter, and uh, let's check out Kirby. I haven't seen Kirby in a while. Uh, how about Kirby5.pack? And as you see here, we have things that we are familiar with. And actually, since my last uh, videos, uh, Brawlbox is even better. Uh, I don't think I had live uh, 3D model previews without having to go like this. Uh, but as you can see, it's working. You can do all the stuff that we've done before. And uh, what we'll do next is actually uh, mod something and test that we can actually load it and that it's modded because now we have brawl we have extracted the files we have brawl box and so we can now uh, do pretty much all of my old videos uh, but how do we get it back into the game how do we actually play now uh, we'll get into that after we adjust something so let's go back into Brawl Box. Let me close that. And let's open. Uh, sure. Let's let's do Kirby, since we were looking at him. Uh, let's do something really simple. Again, I just want to do proof that uh, you know what let's not do Kirby let's do somebody more obvious like let's just do Mario okay uh, Mario 00.pack texture texture Mario body we can right click export and uh, 
again, I'm just going to be going through this pretty quick because we'll do, be making new video tutorials on how to do this stuff. Uh, but for the time being, uh, I'm just doing it for proof of concept. And again, I already have videos on this, but I'll be making updated videos. So don't worry that you might not be able to follow along with this part. I'll explain it more in the future. So once we have that exported, I'm going to open this with my uh, paint software that I'm using on this profile. And we're just going to quickly grab a brush tool. Excuse me, brush tool. And I'm going to uh, show what 15 years in the industry taught me. Beautiful. My god. That's why I'm the best. Okay. File, save, and... Yeah, just save. That's fine. Again, Sprawlbox is so good. If you remember back in the day, we'd have to worry about what, how many colors we were using and blah blah blah. Brawlbox will just take care of that for us. So I don't even care about this stuff. Just hit OK. Our beautiful masterpiece is finished. Here, we're going to right click, replace, and that's where uh, Brawlbox is doing stuff. Again, I'm going to make a new tutorial on it because it's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know why everything keeps getting tinier and tinier. What's going on with that? But whatever. Uh, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to save. Uh, <laughs> again, we'll do it properly another time. What we also need to do is open Fit Mario PCS. And we're going to replace the same thing. Yeah, it looks great. Save. Boop. And now, uh, Fit Mario 00 and Fit Mario 00.pcs have been edited. Uh, you can tell by the timestamp is being different. And now we go back to Dolphin. So this is the part where we're going to be um, actually getting Dolphin to play our extracted file. So if you double click, sorry, now you have to go Options, Configuration, and then go to Paths. We're going to add a new path because we added one at the beginning for our original game, but now we need to add one for our extracted files. So go into the data once you're selecting this directory, and then you want to open this SYS and select this folder. And if you did that properly, you'll notice a second game will pop up and you can hit close. You'll notice here that the size is zero gigabytes and also it's zero bytes. It's also zero terabytes. Uh, sorry uh, <laughs> but that's the one with the mod so what we're gonna do now is just double click on this okay sorry about that I uh, had to calibrate my controller and also uh, it was incredibly loud and it hurt my ears so I cut the recording but we're continuing on by launching this uh, just by double clicking on it Listen to the sounds, get hype. It's happening. We are gonna see the fruits of our labor and see all that awesome texturing work I did. And just as easily as this, you too can get back up and running. Um, I found it actually really fun just to take a look at the files in Brawlbox again. Uh, just looking at, you know, like, models in 3D or the items and things. That was actually really cool to see. Mario. Moment of truth. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at him. He's large and he's green. We've done it. We have successfully modded the game. Mission accomplished. Oh, we got a nice little miss in there. And that's gonna... Oh, we tripped. Oh, it feels so good. 
all of you. I command you to get back into Brawl Modern. I've shown you it's possible. enough fun for one day. Obviously, um, like that other video I had where we looked at the Brawl Vault, all you'd have to do is go into your files and, you know, or that's uh, Bowser's Final Smash, uh, and just replace the files as necessary, and then as long as you have this dolphin path to uh, this directory, it can just be this simple. Um, we're going to take a look again in the future at some other ways to do this. Uh, it's probably not the best, although, I mean, it works. Uh, I did have, like, maybe this method would be bad if we got, like, a little bit more complicated with it, so we're gonna try to find better ways, but for now, uh, it was a lot of fun to actually just open up Brawl again, and you can start trying to, uh, maybe if you have your old SD card around, you can start sliding your old files in here. Um, in the future, we'll take a, uh, take some tutorials on, you know, updating some of the things, like adding the codes or, like, the, uh, the camera, you know, like the, the gecko codes and things like that. I don't know if this method will work with that so well. Um, but we're going to have to take a look at some of that stuff. But just for purely extracting the files and having them available to you, like all of the stages and everything, uh, it's all here. And you just got to use Brawlbox and uh, you're off to the races. So. I hope to hear from some of you guys who are actually going to get into this kind of stuff. Uh, it's kind of cool. I'll probably poke around with it some more. Um, I will probably make another video about this method for like maybe injecting some existing mods that are out there off the Brawl Vault. But, but for the time being, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, shout it out in the comments if there is any topics or things in modding that you are interested in getting into first because you know I'll probably just be taking a look at things as I'm able um, I'm just happy enough right now to actually have it working at all so I hope you enjoyed have a great rest of your evening and I will see you next time thanks